What is going on, good people? This is your boy C. Will back to you with another video. And uh, we have uh, just, by the time you see this video, it's either Black Myth Wukong is already out. We're taking a look at the benchmarker tool again, uh, specifically for the uh, 7900 XTX and the 7800 X3D uh, gaming system that I have. Um, and I, I got a couple of things that we need to talk about. So let me just show you. Um, we have the overlay at the top left hand corner here. We're going to go to settings. The first thing I want to show you is the way that I am going to play this game with the 7900 XTX and the 7800 X3D. And this is not so much about the X3D, but more about the 7900 XTX. Uh, this game is absolutely beautiful, um, but I can't play it the way that I can with my 4090. And so the testing that I'm going to be doing on this particular game is not going to be with ray tracing. It's, it's because it can't do it. <laughs> um, and we'll get into a little bit of that um, more in the actual video. So if we take a look here, if we go to graphics, um, you have option for super resolution. I have it on 75%, which should be quality. Um, FSR, frame generation on. Uh, we're definitely going to need it. Um, and full ray tracing I have just turned off. And uh, the graphics I have on cinematic. And the reason why I'm using cinematic, which is the highest, is because I want the most detail possible in a game like this. It's an action RG or RGP. And um, I want it to look the best while still getting a great frame rate. And uh, you're probably wondering, do we need frame generation? Uh, yes, we do. So let's take a look. And... Um, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see, 4K, V-Sync is off. Uh, maybe I should turn this on. I don't know, let's turn it on. Uh, that may help out with the recording as well because I was seeing a couple of things when frame generation with FSR. Uh, for some particular reason, I think you need to actually have that on. Um, so it records correctly. <laughs> Um, man, this this just a whatever. All right, so let's check it out. And I am going to reset the one percent lows. And uh, all right, so a couple of things, and we'll uh, you can see my so. You see the flickering that's going on in the background? I don't know what that's about. I don't know if that's a... Uh, also, another issue that I have, and I'm gonna do society, look at the water. It seems like there's ghosting in the water. Um, and we'll take a look at running this without frame generation, because I don't know if that's what's causing the ghosting or if it's just FSR, but you can see kind of like the the background on the rocks and stuff is not stable and uh the game still looks great but this i'm just gonna be honest when i did if you watch my previous video with, with 14900k and the rtx 4090 with uh, some of the things i was testing out um it looked much different <laughs> i'll just say that uh, but the best way to do this is to actually do a side by side which i am going to do um, not for sure if I'll be able to get that in on this video, um, but definitely uh, maybe I'll do a side by side once the game really because we got like another day uh, and a half or so with doing that. But that was one of the things you know that I noticed with, uh, and I'm glad I did this thing because it looks better on the recorder. Um, but right now the frame rate is pretty good. Um, like I said, this is the highest quality setting. Um, you know, and I may be able to now nah, because see, we're at, we're averaging about 83, 1% lows of 72. I think the last time I tried playing around with this, um, the, I think we were getting below 60. Another thing I want you to see, there's actually ghosting on the leaves. Uh, I think that's a, uh, FSR frame generation thing. So, um, it's just, you know, if you, 
didn't have if I didn't have multiple GPUs and systems, I wouldn't notice it probably that much. Um, but you definitely get a chance to notice it. So let's see what we so we were able to average 85, which is great. Uh minimum 73. Again, 700 X3D, 7900 XTX. Um uh, here are all the settings. FSR frame duration frame duration uh full ray tracing is off motion blur is off so this is how i'm going to play and test out on the 7900 xtx um this is you know so just keep this in mind this is what we're going to do so let's take a look at um testing this out with without the actual frame generation let's see if we see anything different uh, just so you could get a chance to be able to see what that looks like. Um, so going back here, we we'll go back to graphics. We turn frame generation off. All right. So we're going to turn frame generation off. We're going to leave this on quality mode because um, I think we're going to need it. And let's see, we're still on. Let me go back here. We're still on cinematic mode, which is the highest graphical setting. Um, yeah, so let's take a look. And I am going to as soon as it start. Okay. All right. So let me reset the one percent lows, and as you can see, um yeah you still see the flickering so the flickering that's going on in the background here that is not frame generation um so i just confirmed that um the water looks a little bit better um i don't see well maybe still a little bit of ghosting uh, so that may be a fsr thing oh and the flickering may be fsr now that i think about that but as you can see up here at the top left hand corner um, that's below 60 FPS and, and of course PC gaming a thousand dollar GPU this is no ray tracing or anything a thousand dollar GPU uh, and yeah um, a lot of times and I know this is always a stickler uh, and I'm not going to go through the whole thing because we can see what we're going to end up with we're going to end up averaging 46. Um, the problem here is that a lot of times, you know, you know, people will say, oh, you don't need uh, ray tracing, yeah, yeah, whatever. OK, um, but this is we just looked at two different settings without ray tracing. Right. And so when you start talking about how the game looks. Um, yeah. The difference in between NVIDIA and AMD, this shows a, a huge difference. You know, Unreal Edge of 5 game, you know, it's just a, it's a big difference. All right, so let's just go back. And I am going to, because so, I'm, I'm going to show you something. Um, the, the ray tracing inside of the 7900 XTX is terrible um <laughs> it's just terrible uh because you even on the lowest setting so let me show you um i am going to change this i'm gonna turn the frame generation back on and i am going to turn on full ray tracing i'm going to leave this on the ray tracing low i am going to change the graphics settings to high so these three things and this is really you know like if i had to as far as like the level that i would want to use in terms of still trying like find that balance between playing you know having some ray tracing um you know playing 4k and still having a good picture quality without it falling apart this is what i would do so in order to do this we have to restart the game so let me apply the settings um, we have to exit out of the game because we turned on ray tracing. So it, it wants you to, it requires a restart. So 
Let me back out. And then we're going to go back into it. And I can't wait for this game to fully release. All right, so check this out. Let's go back into the settings. I want to make sure everything's stuck. So graphics, 75%, which should be quality. FSR, frame generation on. Full ray tracing is on, but it's on low. Um, graphics settings are high, okay? Now, if we go over here to, you know, all of this, it should still be the same. VSync is on. And I have VSync on for the recording, but we're not going to go over 120 frames per second because the 4K, I'm using my 4K LG CX uh, OLED TV, which maxes out at 120 FPS, but it's not going to go over that. So uh, VSync is on. It should be fine. And let's go to benchmark. Let me show you. Okay, so here we have ray tracing on and there's no flickering, right? So for some particular reason, once we turn on a ray tracing, it fixes the shadows and the flickering in the background, but look at the water. This looks crazy um, with the low settings. And again, we're on, we're using low ray tracing the frame rate is terrible we got frame generation on and uh yeah this is a it looks like we're going in slow motion <laughs> this is a terrible uh gaming experience by the way um, i wouldn't play it like this but i want to show you this because um when you're talking about where amd is when it comes to ray tracing and look at that look at just how that's going on over there um, this is terrible. I, you know, this is not anything I, I would play the game. And if I was a person that wanted to um, at least test out ray tracing, you know, to, just to have a playable gaming experience um, without the actual picture falling apart, because I kept it on quality settings for FSR, and because anything below quality, it just looks terrible. Uh, even looking at this right here, it doesn't look that great. And because you know, FSR is not technically where it needs to be from an upscaling standpoint um, when you compare it to NVIDIA. Now, if you only knew about FSR and, you know, maybe you was okay with, like, performance settings, stuff like that, which I'm not, um, you know, you pretty much would be upscaling from a 1080p image. It's, it's just crazy. But this is, like, one of the things where it's like, okay, hey, if I want a high... Out if I want a high end gaming experience, um, you're not gonna get it when you're trying to test out the new technology. And for some people, they're okay with that. Uh, for me, I'm not. Um, so it just is what it is. So, this is the reason why I said I was gonna play the actual game with my initial settings. So, no ray tracing, cinematic mode, FSR, um, you know stuff like that on this is the reason why let me know what you think down in the comments below how if you have an amd gpu have you had a chance to test this out for yourself um and the system that you currently have i think this is a great tool um, so you could be able to try to figure it out you know which way that you want to actually play the game and obviously once we get into actual gameplay um it still may differ there you know with different scenes and stuff like that but um as far as I know now, I'm definitely going to go back in and uh, change this to making sure that uh, I turn full ray tracing off and uh, play on the cinematic mode, keep on frame generation, quality level. So I'm going to do it. All right. I see y'all in the next video. I definitely try to do um, some side by side comparisons between AMD and uh, NVIDIA with the 7900 XTX and the 4090. Talk to you later. Peace.